On this screen is a dashboard. You'll see a map in the center, and there's a cluster of red dots. These are underperforming stores in the Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota metro area. These are stores that are performing below last year, while the stores that are shown by the green dots are performing over last year. We want to grow sales in this area. We want to create relevant offers and assortments and find a better way to reach our customers. Well, how do we do this? Luckily, we have some CRM data. We've invested a lot in our CRM system and using GIS to perform powerful spatial analysis is the key to helping our stores thrive. So what are some questions we can answer with this data? Well, first, where are our best customers located? Using the information that we have in our CRM on customer spending, where they live, and how often they frequent our stores, we can assign them a loyalty score and then map where they are so we can see where they're located in our study area. Another question that we can answer with our data is how far are people traveling to shop at our stores? Well, using our customer's home location and the store that they frequent the most, we can create this spider diagram. And now there's, there's a lot going on here, so let's just focus on one store. So looking at Woodbury, store 1157 here, you can see that not only are we attracting local customers, we have some customers who are traveling quite far to shop at that store. And that's gonna impact how we assort and manage this store. The next question that we can answer with our data is how do we focus our marketing efforts? Well, first, we need to create smart trade areas. So using our customer's home location and their spending information, we can create uh, trade areas that will accurately capture our best customers. These trade area polygons can then be enriched with a wealth of underlying data, such as age, income, and spending habits, to give us a better idea of who is shopping and who should be shopping at our stores. So now that we did all this analysis, how do we tie it all together, and how do we get it out to others? Well, we can create reports around various topics. We can create a profile of our best customers and create this demographic summary to paint a better picture of just who they are. We can dig a little deeper and create another report to help us figure out what is the best way to market to these people. And we found that a lot of our customers like to visit the Wall Street Journal website and they listen to a lot of news radio. So these PDF reports are useful, but there's another way to keep this information even more focused. Using an infographic, which is my favorite, we can summarize the key variables around each of our store locations that we want to focus on. We can take a lot of raw data and turn it into something that's easy for someone to understand. And all these reports that I showed you are very easy to share. So that, so that way people can take this information and they can use it to help our store locations turn and stay green.